Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and this is the latest version of the dev and beta channel versions of Windows 11. So there was a new version that was released, a new build. If you look at the Windows version command, you should be at 22616.1, which is the latest version for 22H2, because this is the future of what's coming up later this year. Now, not a lot in here, uh, really nothing much to show. One of the things that they have changed is they reverted the way that the flyout worked in the uh, taskbar. Um, apparently, people uh, they didn't like it, or at least they didn't like it. So any uh, uh, Windows insiders that, that had, starting with build 22.5.8.1, the flyouts uh, that were coming from the flat, the, the taskbar to show it in icons and the stuff like that, uh, including the ability to rearrange icons in the flyout, uh, have been uh, changed back to the original Windows 11 way of doing it. Also, the uh, other thing here is that the uh, watermark, of course, is gone, and they are saying, please don't think that this is a uh, means it's over but uh, you know we know it's close to being finished uh, the controversy of this build is the introduction of something we had talked about many months ago and that now will be official starting this build and so starting with 22h2 probably when you set up a new computer with a clean install for personal use the Microsoft account and internet requirement is going to be there. You won't be able to pass through that. Uh, the only accounts that are, of course, not uh, mandatory for that is if you actually uh, set up a work or school computer, and that will not be required. But for the rest, if you have a personal account, if it's just for personal use at home, Internet access and Microsoft accounts will be required during setup when you do a clean install. So this is going to be controversial. The Pro version was the only version that didn't require this, and the Home version did, but not the Pro, and now both require. And that means Internet is mandatory. If you set up no Internet, you won't be able to go through the setup process. For the rest, remember that this is your last chance to change the channel. Remember that uh, for the last few weeks, we were both on beta and dev channel at the same time with the same builds. This is the last week this is happening probably. Microsoft has sent a warning that you need to change now if you want to change. So if you are in the Windows Insider program, if you do not wish to be stuck in the Insider program, click the dev channel and go to the beta channel. Like that, you'll be able to stay on the 22H2 builds and eventually stop getting preview builds. Or else, well, what we think is that next week we're moving ahead. So the dev channel is going to separate from the beta channel and the dev channel is going to get its own new builds that will actually have probably a more advanced build number with features that we're testing that will eventually make it or not to the 23H2 update next year. So that's pretty much what we have to say about this. They fixed quite a lot of bugs, including one that uh, a lot of people are complaining about, the, the uh, explorer.exe crashing. So uh, if you had that problem, they have addressed an issue with that uh, happening in the... Uh, in the build, so you would have uh, some Explorer EXE problems. Some would have actually blues or green screens of death because of that. So apparently that's fixed. And uh, of course, we'll see how real reliable it is uh, over the next few weeks. So uh, that's pretty much what I have to say about build 22616 that is available for insiders beta and dev and probably the last build that will be released for both at the same time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.